welcome to qc second year students today we are studying the microeconomics in microeconomics there is chapter number 2 that is theory of consumer behavior in theory of consumer behavior today let us study the optimal choice of consumers the topic is optimal choice of consumers and uh, you have to understand it, or you have to understand the meaning of optimal choice of consumers and how to the consumer is reaching the maximum satisfaction from his limited income and with the price line or price and the indifference curves how the consumer is get maximum satisfaction from his limited resource or limited income and with the price and the indifference curves let us study today how the consumer is reaching optimal choice of consumers or optimal choice of consumers the consumer equilibrium refers to in which a consumer derives the maximum satisfaction with no intention to change it and subject it to given price and his income. Once again, the consumer equilibrium refers to a situation in which the consumer derives the maximum satisfaction and no intention to change it and subject to a given price and his income. The point of maximum satisfaction achieves achieves by studying indifference map and with his budget line together on an indifference map the higher indifference curves the higher indifference curves so are the higher indifference curve represents the higher level of satisfaction than any other lower indifference curves so the consumers wants to always tries to remain at a higher level of satisfaction or higher level of possible indifference curve subject to his limited income and the budget constraints the consumer is in equilibrium where the slope of the price line is equal to indifference curves the slope of the price line is equal to indifference curves that is optimal choice of consumers the optimal choice of consumers is based on number of assumptions uh, the number of assumptions are first one assumption is that the income of the consumer is given there is the income of the consumer is given and consumer is rational and wants to maximize his or her uh, satisfaction from his or her limited income and consumer is aware of indifference map and all goods are homogeneous and divisible these are the assumptions of the the optimal choice of consumers this theory is based on this assumptions first one is the income of the consumer is given and second one is the consumer is rational and uh, he wants to maximize his or her limited uh, with his limited income 
and uh, by the way, the consumer is aware of the difference there and uh, all the goods are homogeneous and uh, divisible. These are the assumptions of the, the optimal choice of consumers. Now what is optimal choice of consumers? The consumer is or the consumer equilibrium refers to a situation in which the consumer derives the maximum satisfaction uh, with uh, no intention to change it and subject to given prices and his income. It is called as the optimal choice of consumers. And now with uh, uh, understanding with the indifference curves or consumer equilibrium can be explained with the help of the following diagrams. How the consumer reaches maximum satisfaction from his limited income and uh, with the indifference curves and the price lines on the process line. Let us see the diagram is there. The wage vertical lines measures banana and the y vertical lines measures the mango. The goods are homogeneous mango and banana. The preview is the price line or the process line of the consumers. And I see one, I see two, I see three is the indifference curve of the consumers. And then the price line and the indifference curves equal to at point E. E represents equilibrium of the consumers. Equilibrium of the consumers. At point E, the consumer purchases OM amount of banana and OM amount of mango. Consumer is in equilibrium. At point E, the price line PQ is a tangent to the IC2 curves. At point E, the price line is PQ is a tangent, is a tangent to indifference curve IC2. PQ is a price line or the budget line which is a tangent to the curve I see two at point E. E represents equilibrium of the consumers. At point E, the price line and the indifference curve and the two commodity banana and mango are equal to each other at point E. E is the equilibrium point of the consumers. And he wants to remain at the higher level of satisfaction with his limited income. So the IC2 indicates or represents the equilibrium of the consumers at point A. And CBA or ABC points are not considered the optimal choice of consumer. CBA or ABC is not considered the optimum choice of consumer because of CBA is below the IC2 curves. They are on the line of IC1. The IC1 is smaller than IC2. The IC2 is higher than IC1. So the CBA is not considered the optimal choice of consumers. They are below the IC2 curves. They are below the IC2 curves. And also D is not considered the optimal 
trace of consumer because d is d is beyond the c2 curves d is beyond the c2 curves so the d is not consider the optimum choice of consumers only the consider e is the equilibrium point of the consumers where the two is the price line e is equal to e to consider i see two where at point e the o m amount of banana and o m amount of mango equal to each other at point e e represent the equilibrium of the consumer e represent the equilibrium of the consumer this is called as the optimal choice of consumers this is called as the optimal choice of consumers the consumers always try to remain at a higher level of indifference than or he gets higher satisfaction from his limited income so it is called as the optimal choice of consumers you have to understand the meaning guy doesn't sense in the diagram have to explain with proper who do not or who is not subscribed to today subscribe immediately as soon as possible and uh, take decisions to understand whatever we have the knowledge of the economics thank you madam